Getting a hands-on experience in a lab is so different from just lecturing. You can learn about how bacteria grow, what they're made of. You can see it on a screen and you can take notes on it, but when it's something that you grew yourself, that you plated and you watched grow over weeks, it's so much more meaningful. Whoa! And then on this one... I've never seen it grow with the red on the outside. That's really cool. The project we're working on right now is a multi-semester project to look at antibiotic-resistant bacteria in the Charles River. The river is a great place to look because rivers get a lot of runoff when it rains. That runoff comes from the land around it, washes bacteria and other things down into the river, and so we thought it would be a good place to look for antibiotic-resistant bacteria. Antibiotic resistance is a huge concern, and it should be a huge concern. We are seeing a rise in antibiotic resistant infections throughout the United States and throughout the world, really. This project involves only undergraduate students, so they are going out doing the field work, they are bringing their samples back, doing the lab work, so they are getting a lot of hands-on experience that they might not normally get. So I actually did this same project last semester, and it was my first time where I got to go out into the city, grab a sample, then go back to the lab and plate it. So it was my first time kind of doing an experiment outside of the classroom, and I honestly really loved it, which is why I came back to do it in the summer. So right now I'm taking the water temperature. We've been taking the temperature and tracking basically how the um, rise in temperature has to do with an increase in antibiotic resistant bacteria. And now that the water's a lot warmer, it's a better environment for them to grow. So there's been like a ton. So we've been collecting at each site, collecting water um, and measuring them on five different antibiotics. So we're using five different antibiotics. Amoxicillin is one that probably a lot of people have heard of. It's commonly prescribed. So basically with the plating process, this is an antibiotic plate. If it's able to grow on this plate, that means it's antibiotic resistant. And so we're just spreading around the sample, which allows it to get an equal amount of nutrients from the agar solution. So from there, we use parafilm, and this seals it so that it's airtight which allows the bacteria to grow in a sterile environment. And then we can count it. <laughs> Five, six, seven. These are the colonies that we plated last week. So we kind of wait for a week for like the bacteria to grow. Anywhere you see a circle, that's typically like a colony. If there's a lot of bacteria growing, that means it was pretty easy for them to reproduce and mutate and spread their antibiotic resistant genes to more bacteria. It's really interesting to see how this bacteria just has so much power to affect our medicine that we have today. Learning about that as an undergrad is such a privilege that I'm just like, wow, I'm doing research. Like, this is so cool. <laughs> to see up close what evolution is capable of. I think that seeing it really connects you to how our bodies work, how the world works. It feels very impactful and I think also encouraging for what I want to do in my future career.